Well, how y'all are? This is your old buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range. Say, listen, they've got this clay pigeon out on the market now called a burst of smoke with every hit. Flash, champion targets, flash clay, whatever it is. We'll look at the box in a minute. I'm gonna see if I can't bust one. So, I'm over here by myself and uh, can't really throw a clay pigeon and shoot it too. So uh, I'm going to take a whack at a stationary clay and see what it looks like when it bursts. I guess I can pull the other barrel. And that's what it looks like when it bursts. Okay. All right, let's try another one. We might as well. Let's put one up. Put one up with its edge facing us like a low bird and see what happens. It doesn't flash, but it uh, it seems to puff real good. All right then. Go on over here and look at it some more. So here's what the box looks like if you go to the store and try and buy you some. It looks like this. Champion. Large, visible, poof, with every direct hit made with naturally occurring forestry products and limestone. They are hard to break. There's no kidding about that. Will not increase soil acidity levels. Proudly made in the USA, non-hazardous. Well, what does that mean, non-hazardous? Oh, I know what it means. I know what it means. It means that the clay pigeon has to wait for 27 years to retire <laughs> and, and doesn't get much of a pension. That's what that means, non-hazardous. All right, just kidding around. Uh, this is what the clay pigeon looks like when uh, you're trying to load it. Now, the back of it looks like it's got some kind of brownish clay slurry on it. It's not black like a conventional clay pigeon would be. Uh, I can hold it up to the light and you can actually see, kind of see light through it. Up on the top of it, it's got this sticker. And when you peel that sticker off, underneath there, it looks like... Eh, let's get something out here to put it on. Wind up painting the table. When you peel that sticker off of there, it looks like it's got, eh, chalk line dust in it. It's kind of what it looks like. It kind of looks like chalk line dust. And it's messy, buddy. <laughs> Ain't no doubt about that. It's messy. So, when you hit this thing, it kind of, you know, the chalk line dust blows out of it. Now, we've shot a few of them. I don't have anybody on the range with me today to throw clay pigeons, so I had to shoot stationary clays to demonstrate them. But, um, you know, it looks like a regular federal champion type clay pigeon with the exception that it's brown on the back instead of black. But I've noticed these things are a little bit harder to break than a regular champion or 
you know, uh, white flyer or so forth like that. They're a little bit harder to bust. Um, you know, it seems like the material is a lot tougher than a regular clay pigeon would be. Uh, I've dusted quite a few of them and blowed the label off of them. You know, I've blown the label off of them. The label would go one way, the clay pigeon would go the other, or it would move the clay pigeon in flight when I hit it, but it wouldn't break. So, it's kind of a peculiar clay pigeon. You know, you got to hit it really solid. Uh, I've hit it hard enough with a shotgun to change its flight path, and they sometimes they, sometimes it won't break. So, anyway, there's the old uh, champion poof, <laughs> the poofy clay pigeons. Um, they're come 90 count in a box, and. Normally, 90 count clays are the efficient way to buy clay pigeons. Um, you know, clay pigeons come in counts of, I've seen them 120, uh, 90, and 135. Champion produces them in the 90 count box, the regular clays. They also produce them in the 135. The 135 is about $15 a box. The 90 count is about $7 a box. So, you know, if you buy the standard 90 count clay, you know, if you buy two boxes of them, that's 15 bucks. And you got 180 clay pigeons instead of 135. So if you buy clay pigeons, always look for them. Now, I like the Champion brand better than anything else on the market, and we shot... Oh, I don't know. Last year, we shot 60 cases of clay pigeons, okay, uh, here, just on the farm. Of course, that counts, you know, the kids from the uh, Bergen School trap team, you know, and the trap moms bringing the kids out to shoot together, you know, and, and like that, and me and my bunch of shooting clay pigeons, you know, and us goofing off, and, you know, we wound up shooting you know, a lot of clays before it's over and done with. Um, but these guys are right at $20 a box for 90. So, you know, they're kind of expensive. They're kind of a novelty to have. They're fun to shoot, but, you know, if you want to reinforce, you know, if you want to reinforce marksmanship techniques, if you want to reinforce, um, good gun handling and so forth um, among new shooters this is the way to go because they get that they get that instant gratification when it busts normally if it's black back clay but um, when this goes the whole crowd goes ah you know and they get that little bit of gratification makes them work a little bit harder for it uh, I just wish they'd bring back tracer shotgun shells um, used to be able to buy those true tracers you know Fioki tried to do, put some kind of a little siloom light in there but back when I was a kid you know Herb Parsons would come out for Winchester and put on a demonstration at the uh, sportsman's club you know and all of us kids would get to shoot you know 10 rounds of trap 10 shells of trap at uh, you know, with one of Winchester's demo guns uh, loaded with good old pyrotechnic tracer shotgun shells. They were neat. Well, all right, then, there's a product test for you. Uh, like, take, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. Uh, leave me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket if you want to. Be careful in these dangerous times between silly people and silly diseases. You know, there is some danger. Um, and God bless y'all. We'll see you now.